the thoracic surgery department at Pasteur Hospital. The operating nurse is about to receive a sample of lung tissue. Before sending the sample, I've stuck the RFID chip corresponding to the PDA on the pouch. I put the sample in the pouch. I scan the patient's identification number using the PDA and then I read the RFID tag. Do you have time to stamp the sample? Yes, when I leave the operating theater, I go to the item dispatch room, where I scan the chip again to record the exact time the item departs from the room. Then I send the item through the pneumatic transport system. The sample arrives at the laboratory within 30 seconds. Samples have to travel fast to preserve the cells and optimize the quality of analyses. By simply reading the RFID chip, the event is time-stamped. Then a transformation step links the sample identifier to the specimen identifier and to the test tube. The patient is therefore associated with the test tube. The specimen is time-stamped once again, simply by reading the test tube, then frozen in liquid nitrogen to be temporarily stored. Last stage. The boxes are frozen and stored at minus 196 degrees. This is the final storage. Thanks to the RFID tags, the location of each specimen is known. A precise, error-free inventory has been carried out in 16 seconds. Traceability is, above all, designed to guarantee the security of the sample. It also helps to manage the pre-analysis phase. That is, the time between the surgical sample being taken on the patient and that sample being processed by fixation or freezing. This phase is also called cold ischemia. One of the challenges in medicine today is being able to deal with increasing security issues while improving the flow of information. Today, we believe that RFID technology may be the answer. As part of the fight against cancer, the aim is to make therapeutic specimens anonymous. The specimens will be studied using molecular biology to identify new mutations and therefore to propose new, targeted and customized therapeutic strategies for each patient. For the treatment of certain forms of cancer, this is a real breakthrough.